So we've got some exciting new details about all things Assassin's Creed Origins and special thanks to Access the Animus who did a breakdown of the recent stuff coming out of PAX West and there's some juicy details about a brand new epic scenario we will be taking part in called the Siege of Alexandria. And I cannot wait to tell you guys more about this one. And also we're going to be exploring the great library of Alexandria. You guys know that Assassin's Creed as a franchise has really been about exploring these epic interiors at times, especially when we look to Assassin's Creed 2. There were some amazing interiors and some awesome puzzles and rewards, uh, and it looks like that's going to be returning. And don't forget, I'm giving away a copy of Assassin's Creed Origins for a chance to enter this giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel here, like this video, and leave a comment down below, and I will be announcing the winner around the release of the game. But let's start out with the Siege of Alexandria. So yes, this is going to be something in Assassin's Creed Origins. It's going to be huge and it's going to be one of those epic moments in the game. Definitely going to be a highlight. Now, Bayek and Caesar will be a part of the scenario and we're going to be getting, I think, some other characters. Uh, of course, Cleopatra was a big part of the Siege of Alexandria. Uh, but... A chariot will be involved. You will be running and escaping from this siege. And you know, historically, this siege saw 20 plus thousand men invading Alexandra. And this was a combination of on foot soldiers and cavalry. And ships were also involved as well, encroaching inland and attacking. So I expect this to be like an amazing moment in the game. I don't know at what point this will happen in the game, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be very exciting. And I don't know if it's going to be a combination of stealth or not. Maybe the beginning of the mission will be stealth. And then you will see combat sections and then, of course, parkour throughout. But yeah, I cannot wait to see more about the Siege of Alexandra for sure. And if there's any gameplay demonstrations of it, I will have it here up on World of Games for you guys. But what about the Great Library? Well, this was the greatest library existing in that era. So it was very important to the world and of course Alexandra and it was the center of knowledge for all the Mediterranean basin so you could see how important this is and it could hold something about uh, the first civilization you know there were some uh, teases from Ashraf Ismail he could not comment about the first civilization but he did say you know at PAX West they're aware of how important it is to the Assassin's Creed franchise and I'm paraphrasing there uh, but yeah he has no more details about the first civilization but I'm hoping that the great library has some secrets of its own and that uh, in combination with other puzzles you unlock these secrets I'm hoping that that acts as some sort of gateway to unlock uh, really really cool gear and of course teases to the first civilization and now it's time to go over your top comments remember to leave a comment down below and also hit that like button subscribe to the channel for a chance to win a copy of assassin's creed origins so guys let's begin the homie germal says this game looks so good but it might take me a couple of hours to get used to the new combat and i did get to go hands on with the new combat system and let me tell you it does feel wildly different from what we are used to with an assassin's creed game there is a lot more freedom uh to what you can actually do which i absolutely love and then the weapons you use actually do matter here and how you handle yourself in a defensive way and of course your posture uh towards your enemy is really really important you know this game is more about positioning than ever before and uh mentioning uh the difficulties with learning the combat system uh, it will take some getting used to because of the button mapping itself. It's so different from what I'm used to with how the previous games are button mapped to the controller. Uh, and I have heard that you can go back to legacy veteran controls. So that's good news at the very least. Uh, but even, you know, the running controls are swapped with some of the button controls and stuff. So you may find yourself attacking when you want to run. And that was happening to me a lot at first. Uh, but in time, if you start thinking of the game more like The Witcher in that way, or even Dark Souls, and wrap your mind around it in that sense, then you will have a better time with the combat system. So that's my tip for you guys when you play the game at first, is think Dark Souls and The Witcher 3 going into that combat system, and it will feel really good for you. 
Now, Mr. Bader says, I really hope they nail the story with this one and making an interesting and compelling character unlike a different assassin we know, cough, cough, Connor. And there's so many opinions about uh, the assassins of previous titles. You know, one of my favorite assassins is Ezio because he wasn't boring uh, and the characters around him certainly were not boring and I loved how it was about family and revenge, of course. And uh, I didn't get a too much of a feel about the story for AC Origins. You know, like you, Mr. Bader, I do worry uh, sometimes that uh, some of these characters may be stale, far too serious. That's something I'm a little worried about with Assassin's Creed Origins is that the main protagonist may be a bit too serious. I do hope that they have humor in this, much like we saw with Assassin's Creed 2, because I think the Ezio franchise uh, really nailed down some of those character qualities for sure. But guys, who is your favorite assassin so far? Please post a comment down below. And guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned here for more Assassin's Creed Origins and more open world gaming goodness. I will see you guys soon enough in Egypt. <laughs>